What's mobbing with it? God bless y'all in Jesus' name. Man, y'all know what time it is. We gonna get it in today. Straight to it. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. Go to the ant, O sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. Hallelujah. Man, let's get it in. Let's, let's truly touch on that today. Man, we have to understand in the mannerisms that an ant has, the, the their character. They up early. They're getting straight to it to fulfill their purpose, taking care of their responsibilities, and they're not complaining. They don't have to be told, um, even given a circumstance, whether it's rain, snow, you know what I'm saying, sunshine, whatever it may be outside, man, they're going to get straight to it, and they don't need to be told. They're not complaining. Um, they're not acting selfish when it comes to understanding that they are to fulfill the purpose they're fulfilling the purpose of the colony. So I want to touch on that. And how can we begin to touch on that as believers, man? Let's, you already know, let's get it in. Let's touch on that. Are we waking up as believers every day for the sake of being thankful, being grateful that we have an opportunity for, to fulfill the purpose of God's will for our life? And are we doing it in the essence of understanding that we are to fulfill the purpose of the body of Christ as well. Let's understand that, man. Let's make sure that when we are out here and we're getting to it and we're jumping up, that we're not complaining, that we're not sleeping in. See, see, the sluggard is a lazy person. Let me touch on that as well. A sluggard is a lazy individual, a lazy person. They sleep in, they're lazy, they can don't want to work. You know what I'm saying? Basically, for better words, they're very selfish and want everything handed to them. In the essence, you know what I'm saying? So let's touch on what a, a sluggard is and then the characteristics of an ant now. An ant is some it is uh you know an insect that is diligent, has integrity, work ethic is incredible, you know what I'm saying? So let so now that we got that understood, let's take a look at ourselves and understand. Are we waking up every morning in the essence of fulfilling the purpose and what Christ has given us and being grateful for the life that we've been gifted? And are we understanding that a ant is doing what it is doing for the sake of understanding that it is there to help the colony succeed? Are we doing that for the body of Christ when we are doing our day to day lives I'm in essence or when we are handling our business or whatever it is at the end of the day? Yes, take care of the responsibilities that we've been given as human beings, whether we're fathers, husbands, uh, wives, you know what I'm saying, sisters, mothers, whatever it may be. Yes, take care of your daily responsibilities as a human being and, you know, the family you have or whoever you have in your life. Definitely take care of, you know, your responsibilities. But as a believer, you have a responsibility as well to serve for the sake of the body of Christ serving the body of Christ for the sake of the body of Christ to succeed. Now, we already know that we are fighting for victory. We know the body of Christ is already successful. But in essence, I mean, are you doing your part? Are you doing your part for God's word to go forth? Are you doing your part for when it is the body of Christ? Whatever member of the body that you play, whether it's the foot, the hand, the toe, you know, whatever it may be, are you fulfilling your purpose in that essence of the body of Christ. And we, we we don't have to be told to do this. See, that's the thing. We've waken up and already been given a purpose for our day. Yes, once again, take care of your responsibilities, but we also have a bigger purpose. And when it calls for us to serve the body of Christ for the furtherment of it, the growing of it, the word going forth, the gospel being preached, you know, these are all things in areas to where we could serve. And are we doing it in an essence of understanding that we shouldn't have to be told, we don't need to be sleeping in, we don't need to be lazy. And then let's even touch on more when it comes to what we're working towards and what we have. Let us not, let us not be persuaded by the appearance of prosperity or success in a moment. And that moment of sunshine and that moment where we feel like we've got, you know, our storehouse together, everything is set. No, let us work harder. Let us look at the ant in the manner that they are working harder. They're working harder in the times where their storehouse is in abundance. They're not persuaded by the appearance. Be honest. Let's, let's think about that. If the ant were to store up all of this food and then the moment being persuaded by the appearance of 
wealth or the appearance of abundance and they begin to eat. When the rainy days hit and a storm came and all of them and, and that happened. The colony would die, they would they would not have what they need essentially to survive. So let's be honest with ourselves and understanding let us not be persuaded by the appearance of prosperity or the appearance of wealth or the appearance of success in a moment and let us work harder. Let us make sure that we are going harder, grinding harder, stacking, you know, what I'm saying whatever we may have in our storehouse. And let us not be persuaded by that, because there is going to be a time where that is going to be essential for us to survive or it may be essential for somebody else to survive. The Lord may put us put it on our heart for us to give whatever we may have for somebody else's survival. Hallelujah. But once again, if we look at the characteristics of the ant, the ant isn't living for self. It is living for purpose. It is living for the sole purpose of understanding what it needs to do in its day to day responsibilities for the sake of the colony. It's living selfless. And it's serving. Hallelujah. Let us make sure that we don't get beside ourselves and be persuaded by the appearance of abundance by the appearance of success wealth whatever it may be man let us take the characteristics of the ant let us be mindful let us apply that to our everyday lives let us serve the bigger purpose let us serve the body of christ let us live selfless let us walk with integrity let us not complain and let us not become the slugger let us not become slothful. Let us not become lazy in our ways, because at the end of the day, when you're not fulfilling your purpose and you're being lazy and you're not handling your responsibilities, then what you are basically doing is casting that onto somebody else's plate. Think about how selfish that is, because you're not handling your business or taking care of your responsibilities that somebody else has to do so. Somebody else got to pick up that weight. Hallelujah, man. Let's ask God to remove the pride today. Let's ask God to remove our selfishness. Let's ask God to replace that with integrity, selflessness, to serve and to love and to do it with a pure heart. Hallelujah, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.